famous Gemara in, in Shabbos says that Abaya would make it's Yom Tuba Le Rabbon on an Asiyah. So the Shailah is, if one person makes a Asiyah, why would you make a Yom Tuba for all the Rabbon on? All the Rabbon on just for one person making a Asiyah? I saw the Lashon of the Yamshel Shleimer in Baba Kama Bemes. When he brings this Gemara, he says, When one person finishes, makes a Siyam, there's Simcha Lifna Kodesh Pocho. And this, he says, Ein Simcha Vo'oineg Lifna Kodesh Pocho, Yes, me Simcha Zatayra, Ki Ein Akodesh Pocho, Boi Lomai Ela Dalat Amos Shalalacha Bovad. Guys went with all the Koyach to have Shleimus and Fokim and have Shleimus and have greatness and number of Dapim learned with Chazoras, with tests. And uh, I think today we're celebrating tens of thousands of hours of Limud and I would say thousands of Dapim learned with Chazora. Many people learned with four Chazoras. Hundreds of Prokim have been <coughs> completed in Basra. So we can just imagine the Simcha Lifna Kodesh Baruch that we have tonight. The seam is for the Bachram who make it such an amazing place <coughs> that they've accomplished so much. Because of the Torah, the whole world is uh, Miskayim. One Yachid finishes something, he says, it's worried that everyone should be Masameach with him for this great thing that was born into this world. The Kiyom of the world is here. But every single word of Torah we learn, every single daf, every single suya that we learn, we're bringing, we're bringing more came to the world. That is the biggest chesed we're doing to the world. He says that every single person should come be mesameach with that person. It says that he davka did it when it's a tzorvim marabana, when it was a young tamachacham. I would say that Abaye saw the need that sometimes a young tamachacham doesn't exactly appreciate the chashivas of Torah. He doesn't necessarily understand what he's accomplished. A zaking tamachachem, he knows. So Abayah says, I don't have to go out of my way and, and, and show him what he, he knows what he's done. He'll make a him. But when it's a young tamachachem, a person who's, who's, who's spent hours and hours and hours learning, I want to go out of my way, I want to show him the, what he's done, I want to, I want to you know, he, he's a Rosh Shiva, he's teaching. I want to show him how important it is to be machsh of what he did. Hadran Allah Mesech's Baba Basra, Hadran Halon, Daitan Allah Mesech's Baba Basra, Vadaita Halon. When it's no shame enough, Mesech's Baba Basra, when it's no shame enough, Laid Allah Madame, Laid Allah Dasi. We heard the Messiah, the mayor, talked about the Shliach Bezdin. When a transaction where somebody is incurring an obligation is being enacted, he has to get something from it. That has to be a two way street. So, you know what it says? It's quoted that the Shliach Bezdin. Because he's complimented, he has a hanor that they're relying on him. He has a satisfaction, a pleasure. So that facilitates, that is what he's getting in return. Similar concept we have in Kedushin, that the, the hanor, if uh, somebody is... Uh, enacting, becoming an olive, and the loan would not be expedited unless he took, he was the co-signer, so he's getting that satisfaction that it's being, in fact, the, the loan is taking place, the mouth is giving it because he's taking Acharias. So that's a hano, that hano. But he hano, that becomes what he's getting in return. One could extend the idea, we say, 
both of them is a tailor every morning. Now I know that the Ibani Shalom should make it sweet. The Divrei Teira, the Fino, the Fiyamcha, and all of Kladya Shalom should be in their mouths and our mouth, and then our children and our children's children. It should be sweet. The obvious question is, why is it legitimate to ask for enjoying a mitzvah in this world? The, the ultimate goal is that the, the delivery is later. But in order to facilitate, perhaps, this is the mitzvah, the one mitzvah that we say, in fact, dispels and does battle with the Yitzhahot. So we're asking Rebbe give us hadnor, give us satisfaction, pleasure in the learning so that will help us, give us ammunition to in, in our arsenal that we have to do battle with the Yitzhahot. That's one angle. Another angle is Let's read it as Vaharevno is Alphus. Taking responsibility for passing it on. Vaharevno. You want to take responsibility to pass it on to the next door, to your Talmudin, to your children. If you have satisfaction, you have pleasure from your learning, then in fact you have credibility. You're a model that your children, your Talmudim, will want to imitate. Then in fact, the sweetness is in fact what facilitates the being achroi, the being meshubed, to being able to give it over. I can give it over if I have that credibility that I have to know, that I have pleasure. And I would just add that the that I th I think the more we articulate it, the more we demonstrate it, the more we're sharing it, and the more in fact it works. So the, when Osamer began forty nine years ago, we understood intuitively, Remendel Zatzal, myself, the others that were there at the beginning, that this was, this was necessary. During those years, it became evident that Kiruv, people have a certain approach to being inclusive, being friendly, touchy, feely, kind of embracing. That's nice. It's wonderful. It's admirable. But if it ends there and it doesn't get to the Daf Gemora and it doesn't get to the toil, to the Ikea, if it doesn't get to the frustration and ASIC of Torah, the engagement and the involvement, then it's not going to get to the Hanor, to the Harevno, to the Mesikos. Mesikos comes about because we are breaking through. We're establishing a connection, utilizing the physical reality of the being, of being merely a goof, but amazingly, an Ishama. I have an interesting uh, debate with uh, one, uh, one donor who uh, has at various times called me a dreamer. I like to differentiate during the, during the years between visionary and dreamer. The Benishams are helping. We should continue together, Simchas. If we got to this point, gentlemen, 
חבר'ה, ידידיי, אהוביי. Who knows how far we can get? Yes, I'm dreaming out loud. Consistently, we have done, contrary to the conventional wisdom, as the things became more threatening and improbable, we took our more chavuses, more shielded, because then it's clear the Rebbein Shalom is making it happen. Shtadlus <laughs> avat. But you need energy for shtadlus, and that comes from such shielding. Rav Meir, Ken Yilbu, and your Talmidim, your chavuses, Everybody that's, that's here, we should participate in more Simcha Shal Mitzvah. And it was a, I mentioned to somebody about, it was a, two weeks ago, Shabbos, we were at my daughter's home in Ramot, Aleph, and my son-in-law was a, his name is Avon Yitzhak Kuk. I was not surprised that he has a passion for Kiruv. He travels with a Sephardic minion over there. And somebody got up to give a call up to the Tzibur. And he talked about Avas Hashem, Avas Yisrael, that that's the facilitator. And he gave a call to the Tzibur. This young man's name who spoke, Younger's relation. <laughs> younger man his name his name is Ben David but his first name is Mashiach so I'm coming here with a walker from Mashiach Ben David <laughs> <laughs> oh, <thank you. laughs>